Angels just got a few new tools thanks to Streets of New Capenna. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys, welcome back to another standard gameplay video. Hope you guys are doing really, really well today. Just want to remind you, today is the last day to enter our Streets of New Capenna giveaway. We are giving away a free draft booster box helped out by Grand Slam Comics and Collectibles. If you want to uh, enter for that, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. There are three other ways you can enter for free, which is to follow on Twitter, on Instagram, and then join our Discord. Links for all of that are down below. Additionally, we do have a video that explains all of this information and all that kind of stuff over on our landing page so please do check that out uh and again thank you so much for all the support this has been a really awesome giveaway it's a great thing to be able to do this so we're very happy with that but uh let's talk about today's deck now uh, before we jump into the actual deck, I do have to mention this is brought to us by MTG Malone. Uh, fantastic deck builder, great content creator. Go check him out. Uh, I will link him down below. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, still waking up a little bit. Um, but uh, I have been testing this deck out, and it is amazing. It's Angel's Reanimator. Uh, mostly just focused on the Angel side of thing, uh, of, of course. Now, we did get a few new tools. We've got Giada font of hope which is i think one of the best new cards for this deck two two for two flying and vigilance already pretty awesome especially given it is an angel but each other angel you control enters the battlefield with an additional one one counter on it for each angel you already control uh so this actually continuously scales up you can get much more powerful things but on top of that, you can tap it to add one white, spend this mana only to cast an angel spell. So what this allows you to do sequencing wise is get the attack in because it has vigilance. And then second main phase actually play out any follow up angels that you so choose. So this really helps you kind of ramp into some of the bigger stuff. And we've got some really big stuff that we'd like to play. Uh, now, some other new cards we do have Inspiring Overseer, which is just a nice little three mana uh, angel. 2-1 flyer not super powerful but it does gain you a life and draw you a card card draw is generally something that angels don't necessarily do super well and so it's nice to have this tool in the toolbox uh we do have um elspeth resplendent uh as, as a three of not a full four uh but this is very very good uh, oh my goodness, is this good. So again, this works well with some other cards in the deck, but uh, the plus one allows you to throw a counter on a 1-1 one -one counter plus either a flying first strike lifelink or vigilance counter on another creature, uh, all of which are very good for the deck, obviously. A lot of times I have found myself going for the lifelink side of things just to kind of get my life total out of the way. Uh, for minus three, you can look at the top seven cards of your deck. You can put a permanent card with mana value three or less from among them onto the battlefield it automatically gets a shield counter which is going to help prevent uh sweepers from really taking you out and then the rest go on the bottom of your deck so a very powerful ability as well and then if you could get to that minus seven which i will say is very doable uh you only have to get plus two on this to get up to that minus seven create five <laughs> five three three white angel creature tokens with flying now keeping in mind that if we have giada down when we use that minus seven ability they all get a huge buff because obviously this throws one one counters on them so a very very interesting card here works extraordinarily well for the deck we do also have sanctuary warden which is a five five for six with flying when it enters the battlefield it comes in with two shield counters on it so again really helping protect it against sweepers when it enters the battlefield or attacks you can remove a counter from a creature or planeswalker you control if you do draw a card and create a 1-1 green and white citizen creature token so again seeing that card draw potential is really really important but on top of that it works extraordinarily well with Els elspeth resplendent because you're throwing two counters essentially uh with that plus one ability on anything uh which allows you to kind of net net gain when you're looking to remove counters so very very powerful where the reanimator side of this comes in is twofold we have liesa liesa the forgotten archangel uh that basically whenever another non-token creature you control dies uh you get to return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step this is a pretty obvious include for the deck uh it just allows you to do things like uh you know if you attack in and lose something you just get it back 
Uh, you can exile the opponent's creatures as well, which is really good. We do have Sigarden Savior, so when it enters the battlefield, if you cast it, return up to two target creature cards with mana value two or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, obviously, that only really hits a couple of things, but those things happen to be very good, <laughs> so that's fine. Uh, but most importantly, we have Haunting Voyage, which we can foretell, ideally play late game for seven, uh, and get everything angel-wise back from our graveyard, uh, which is insane. So a very, very powerful card in this deck. Only a two of, it is very expensive, but definitely worth it. Everything else are things that we've kind of seen before, so I'm not going to go into too much detail there. We do have the boon of safety, I should say, for a couple extra shield counters, but that's really it. It's going to be a powerful deck, guys. It's a really, really fun one. We do also have the Legion Angel uh, uh, package here that we can pull some stuff from the sideboard. So all that to say, I think this is a really sick deck. MTG Malone, thank you so much for sharing. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see if we can get a few wins with this one. All right, guys, here we are for game number one. And uh, yeah, it's pretty easy keep. We've got the Giada, uh, which will lead us into uh, some of the Inspiring Overseer, Youthful Valkyrie. We even have that Boon of Safety available. So this seems pretty solid. Um, definitely one that we are going to keep. We'll see what the opponent's up against. I have fought against this deck a number of times as well. I think uh, MTG Malone did a very good job with this one. So I know we're going to be seeing this on the ladder. We might see ourselves in a mirror match at some point, uh, which would be very interesting just because we haven't gotten to see that yet. So uh, we'll see what happens. We will see. But uh, guys, I do want to say with Streets of New Capenna out, I do really appreciate uh, all of the support that we've had recently. It's been um, an absolute blast to, uh, to create all this awesome content for you guys and push things out. We've got some really exciting stuff in the near future that I cannot wait to share with you all. Uh, we'll talk about that more as we go uh, into the coming weeks, though, of course. So do uh, keep an eye out. Um, I think I'm just going to go this route. If they answer this, it's okay. Um, but I kind of want to... The boon of safety with youthful Valkyrie play is very good as well. Um, okay. <clears throat> Again, keeping in mind here, guys, we are the reanimator deck. So it's kind of okay that things are going to die. <laughs> um... Let's go ahead and throw one of these out. Uh, the question is, do we go for both or do we not? Um, I think we can fairly safely because they are tapped out. I'd rather get both down. They would need like a burn down the house probably to answer both or double up on thundering rebukes or something. And it doesn't look like they've got it. So I'm happy with that. Um, let's see. How do we want to do this? So part of me does want to throw out Elspeth Resplendent. A um, little worried about what could happen there. I kind of want to leave up the boon of safety. That's the only trick. So I guess that leads me to go into this direction. Uh, they might have just like a negate. I mean, very reasonable play from the opponent here. Uh, but this does leave up the boon of safety on one of our creatures, which I think is pretty important. Um, so they're gonna big score ah okay so this is the uh <laughs> i think this is the um oh what's it called is it arcane bombardment no might be this is the silly deck that's looking to really really take over the game so this is gonna be a blast uh i love this deck this is one that i have on my list to play i believe it was day nine that really like took this one far and above uh and so i'm i'm pretty stoked they do have enough mana to start going off here, so we'll see. Oh, it's just burned down the house. Okay. Um, let's put a boon counter or a shield counter here, and then we'll go ahead and uh, scry. Unless they just kill this in response. All right, sick. Uh, so at the very least, this is going to stay on the field. That's very important for us. Now, they can certainly use another burn spell on this if they have it, but it looks like they don't, so that's helpful. Um, all right, first things first, let's attack in. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and play Elspeth Resplendent, fully expecting a negate. No, okay. Um, let's go for the minus three here. I do kind of want to force them into a burn down the house if they have it. Ooh, both of these are very good options. Um, I'm going to go Righteous Valkyrie because it has the shield counter on it. Uh, the Inspiring whatever <laughs> Overseer 
draws us an extra card, which is very relevant. Something to think about, because if we can draw that extra card, it's essentially a two for one. Um, here, they're going to use a play with fire right away. Get rid of the shield counter, uh, which is very clever. They probably have another burn down the house here, um, which sucks, but it's fine. Ooh, they didn't have anything to play, though. So, yes, it is Arcane Bombardment. I was correct. Awesome. All right. And we win. <laughs> I love it. That was amazing. Uh, MTG Malone, we're doing you proud. Let's jump into game number two. What's up, guys? Before we jump into the next game, I just want to remind you, if you would like to pick up this month's Patreon rewards, feel free to do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And uh, yeah, I mean, again, this is pretty easy keep. We've got a nice little curve into two and three. Uh, the boon of safety may or may not be relevant, but we'll see. Uh, we can actually lead with the hive of the eye tyrant as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, kind of nice because there's not a lot of one drops in the deck. It's really just boon of safety. And so the early turn in terms of lands uh, is maybe less important than it otherwise would be. All right. Uh, what we really have to be worried about here is the enchantment removal side of things. We don't really want them to remove like a righteous Valkyrie. That would be kind of a hit. Uh, and so we'll we'll hope to solve that problem as best we can. But um, we'll see. Bro, we just shoot. Be dealt damage or destroyed. That's also a big key factor here. So enchantment removal is actually at a premium against the shield counter stuff because it's still still handles it pretty well interesting okay uh i mean easy free block here i suppose <coughs> excuse me um go ahead and do this go ahead and do this uh and i do think we're kind of on the defensive side here so we will just kind of hold off now they can obviously do some major things here which isn't great for us but um, next turn, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> we might be able to get something off the top of the deck here that'll help us out. Worst case scenario, we do have Boon of Safety, but ideally what we'd like to do is get another Angel that we can play with the Righteous Valkyrie out so we can start gaining some life. Um, this is very, very good. Uh, this little combo that they've got going on here is very, very powerful. Um... So the question is, do we take five or do we kill it? Uh, I suppose. Really? That seems bad. I'm going to just double block. That's a bit of a confusing attack. I don't think that's correct. Um, easy way to kill the thing that's dealing a lot of damage to us. So I'm super into that. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and play Giada. Uh, this is going to gain us a couple points of life back. We got the boon of safety available now. So what we're able to do is potentially uh, work our way into an efficient block on the Usher of the Fallen. Now, they might have another Leon and Light Scribe. I have no idea, but I'm not that worried anymore. They really threw away that Light Scribe. I don't know that that was the best play, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, resolve all. Now, depending on how they order their blocks, we can actually kind of work this uh, this in here. So if we do this, let's make sure we're in full control mode. They're gonna organize their blockers. I assume trying to kill the Righteous Valkyrie, uh, which is fine, because again, we can deal with this. <laughs> So it doesn't actually matter how they order these. We will have the opportunity to kill the Usher. Sick. So let's uh, go ahead and do this. Auto pay. And next turn, we've got great plays actually available. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice too. I'm going to keep that on top just in case. I don't know that we'll need it. But... So this, the way that that works out is that they lose their creature and we are fine. <laughs> um... So I think what we do is just play the, Le the Lisa. Lisa? I don't know. Um, and now we're in a much better position. Um, 
I still think we pass. Not 100% sure there, to be honest. Um, but it, I think they're kind of burning out slowly here. And we do have Elspeth Resplendent plus the Vanishing Verse. So, like, I'm feeling relatively good about our position. I wish we had something in the graveyard for this. Um, all right, I think we're going to go Elspeth. This does have lifelink. So, I'm going to go ahead and minus three. Wow, we didn't hit anything. <laughs> uh, at the very least, though, we can get a land, which is pretty helpful. Uh, we can safely attack in here with uh, Lisa, which is pretty awesome. They can block all they want. The particular important thing is we gain seven life. <laughs> um, so yeah, they can attack Elspeth if they want, I guess, now and probably kill Elspeth, but they're going to lose quite a bit in that process. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Cool. That's fine. Um... They made some very poor attacking decisions. The Leon and Light Scribe attack was just bad. Uh, there was absolutely no reason for them to do that. Uh, this is quite good, so they can reduce to memory the Lisa, which is obviously very good. Um, in that case, I'm very glad we got the attack in when we did. That just seems like a good play on our end, so that's fine. Uh, all right, let's do this. Um, we can kind of do a little bit of both here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these. Just because why not. Um, we will throw a... Vigilance counter, I suppose? I don't know. We can kind of do whatever. This doesn't hit anything, which is kind of unfortunate. But it gets very powerful and we gain a lot of life. Um... So we could force them into some blocks here. We can attack here as well, which I'm kind of okay with because if they four for one that or like double block to kill it, like kind of just a freebie. So they're at one. <laughs> um, so they're not in a position where they're just going to be able to attack in and deal that much. So yeah, this is a desperation move, I'm sure. Let's block here, definitely block here. We'll start taking out some of these flyers and we can block the one one so if they have anything here it's kind of okay okay do they just have two of them <laughs> yeah sick all right i mean that was a great play uh but it doesn't really save them um so the safe bet is just to do this we just win cool uh yeah that was awesome we did it <laughs> excellent two in a row guys let's go for three let's see if we can go undefeated with this awesome list all right guys here we are for our third game probably gonna be our last game the question is do we keep this because this is a bit of a sketchy one i'm gonna try it um i don't love it but with that righteous valkyrie if we can get it to stick we're just in such good shape so i'm i'm trying it i don't feel optimistic though uh generally i think i would prob I, I think the right call is to probably throw this back but it's okay we're gonna try it anyway uh mtg malone your deck is amazing so far my friend i've thoroughly enjoyed this one uh mick lantern looks like they're still making some decisions on their end all right we can go ahead and lead with the hive We'll have the planes and then we'll have the shattered sanctum coming down on turn three most likely um but yeah this is pretty easy easy start oh okay even better we get both of these in untapped i will take it all right jadar interesting Ooh. okay i would love to see haunting voyage actually work out because so far in my play testing and obviously in the games that we've had so far that has not been the case all right, they're gonna destroy that. Makes a lot of sense. Uh, at the very least though, we do have our fourth land, so we're gonna be able to, to throw out either a Legion Angel or the Retribution. I think it's probably Legion Angel. That is the correct play. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just gives us another card in hand for later. Uh, it also really eats up removal spells. That's kind of why Legion Angel is so good, in my opinion, is, you know, they can 
they can use things to get rid of it, but it's replacing itself every turn. So use up all the spells you want. You're going to have to have four of them. Yeah, there's the Riveteer's Charm. But again, they're spending their basically entire turn doing that. And so it's kind of fun. All right. They do get a lot of zombies this way. Um, Interesting. I think it's just Legion Angel again, to be honest. Uh, I wish we could do something else. I mean, we can Retribution. We can Inspiring Overseer, hope to hit a land, and then get Youthful Valkyrie down. Alternatively, we can Youthful Valkyrie and then use the Haunting Voyage, but I think we're in the game plan of we just need powerful things to stall them. So I'm going to try this again. <laughs> and hope to eat either another removal spell and they can't kill us, or... Uh, hopefully they might just be out of removal spells, in which case they really don't have anything. Uh, Unlucky Witness is an interesting card, by the way. Something to consider for the Riveteer's Treasure deck that I created, but I kind of like this. Uh, so they're just getting the free attack in, basically. They could have a burn spell, and that's fine. I don't really care. Okay, they're just going to sack it. That's fine. So at the very least, we we broke the the damage up here, which is important. That's cool. Uh, that's really cool. All right, sick. So if we have Rafi Sakura, when you, huh? It's a very interesting card. Okay. Um, what do we want? It might just be Elspeth. Hmm. No, I think we need to start doubling up here. So let's do this. Let's do this. We need to get more than just one or two things on the field if we can help it. Land is nice. Um, not going to attack. We're still going to block if we can see. Cool. This is a really interesting card. Uh, I don't think it's all that great, though, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to do this. I'm actually not going to block the Unlucky Witness because it's one damage. I don't really care. Um, I just don't want them to have extra plays, basically. <laughs> uh, so we get this Demigoth thing off the field. There's the Omnixilis. All right, sick. Well, we knew this was going to happen eventually, so that's fine. Um, I assume they're going to make us discard some cards. Uh, I think it's actually Legion Angel. I'm kind of okay with that. We have the Haunting Voyage, so like eventually... I think we will decline. <clears throat> cool. Alright, so we did take two that turn. That's okay. Um, it's not great, but it's okay. But crucially, they're not really in a position where they've got they've got Omnixilis, which is obviously very good, but that's kind of it. Um, we can start taking some of these Omnixilis is, is down. <laughs> uh, the shield counter seems very good. All right, so what's the play here? I mean, that seems pretty good. Alternatively, we can just Haunting Voyage for two things. I think I actually kind of like that. Let's do that. Obviously, Angel is the play. We'll take you and we'll take you. This really sets up a great series of plays here where we get an extra card. We can take out the bigger Obnix list, so that's not a problem. <clears throat> and we gained a little bit of life here, so I think that that was probably just the best play. It also is a nice little two for one, so if they happen to draw some single point and shoot removal, we've got an answer for it. Or, you know, it, it they can't just like go off and destroy us here, so I don't know. We'll see. I think we played that okay. Uh, Sanctuary Warden's very good because it gets around removal, but like just having two things is also pretty good. Uh, I'm more apt to sacrificing the Legion Angel than I am the Righteous Valkyrie here, so I will happily block. Alright, so they're going to make us discard. I think it's okay to discard a Legion Angel here, so we don't take two. 
Interesting they went for that. Um, cool. All right, so now again, we have options. What do we want to do? I think it's just Sanctuary Warden. This card's just so good. <laughs> uh, it also gains us a lot of life. Um, I think I will remove a counter here just to draw a card. Ooh, that's very good too. All right, so let's send you here. Let's send you two here. We do kind of want to start getting some damage going. All right. <clears throat> and so now, again, in a situation where they can kill Sanctuary, Sanctuary Warden, we still get it. So, like, we're kind of doing okay here. Do we eat up a uh, spell? Um, no, nah, I'll block. We've got another one, so I'm really not worried about that. And we've got Lisa coming down next turn, so I'm super stoked about that. Um, the life gain that we're getting here is so good, also. <laughs> this is all fine. Yeah. And there we go. That is an undefeated run, everybody. That was amazing. MTG Malone, your deck is insane. Let's jump up to uh, rank number three, and then let's talk about this. All right, guys, so Angel Reanimator working wonders on the standard ladder right now. It has everything you want, right? Like, it's got very good, strong creatures that are difficult to remove because they've got shield counters. We've got Lisa, which reanimates stuff automatically. And even if they do, we've got the Haunting Voyage that can reanimate. So we've got a lot of stuff here that just kind of works really, really well for the ladder. The life gain is also very important because there's a lot of incremental decks like we just saw in that last one where they're just trying to ping you for a couple points of damage every turn. If you can offset that damage, it's pretty easy to just take over the game long term. Uh, you just stall, stall, stall until you can get to the position where your board state is offsetting all that damage and then you can start kind of pressuring on the back end uh, and get that damage in so you kind of swap the field on them. Uh, and it worked really well in that third game. We got very lucky. Undefeated, man. I can't believe it. MCG Malone, you really did build an amazing deck here. I really appreciate you uh, putting this up on Aether Hub and sharing your thoughts and your build with everybody. Uh, guys, try this one out. Go check out MTG Malone. He is amazing, and this deck is insane. So well put together, well played. We got the undefeated run, guys. That was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I do uh, look forward to getting some more gameplay out this week, guys, so do check out that. Uh, and again, we've got more stuff coming very soon that I'm very, very excited about. Additionally, do not forget to enter the giveaway. Uh, we will be announcing that winner tomorrow. But guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a fantastic day today. I will see you guys later.